Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? You've grown up in Pericles' home, and yet you're so different. No one is like Pericles, and he's only slightly more serious than usual, too. Athens is under siege, and he worries for her future. Which is why tonight is a fine time to celebrate what may be our last taste of freedom. When you walked in, you seemed like you and Socrates were... Uh... How I wish you were right. One day, we will have that man in here with us. I promise you that. I might be back. If you come back with a jar of oil, I promise to show you how grateful I am. A Mystheus in Pericles' abode? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. You must have seen me doing my impression of Hermippus. I call it the dejected weasel. <laughs> Tell me, what does it think? Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Alexios. Hmm, I... Someone's being hurt. Open this door, or I'll kick it in! Oh, oh, oh don't, don't mind her. She likes to watch. Mm. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. After your display earlier, it's probably safer I get the oil. Obedient, too. I knew I liked you. Don't take too long. If you don't get the oil soon, all our fun will end. <laughs>
just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? You've grown up in Pericles' home, and yet you're so different. No one is like Pericles, and he's only slightly more serious than usual, too. Athens is under siege, and he worries for her future. Which is why tonight is a fine time to celebrate what may be our last taste of freedom. I might be back. If you come back with a jar of oil, I promise to show you how grateful I am. Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? I might be back. If you come back with a jar of oil, I promise to show you how grateful I am. Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? When you walked in... How I wish... I might... If you come back... I only use these terms, war, guards, civility, etc., in context of what we can observe. I can see soldiers fighting, sure, but does that really bring me any closer to understanding war? A mystios? At this party? Well, at least you're someone new to talk to. Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. I saw Cleon speaking at the Pnyx. He's a real man of the people. So, you have a taste for politics. That's certainly better than most of the elitist blowhards in this house. I take it you and Pericles aren't friends. Hardly. Let me post let the Charles to have Aspasia ostracized and to see Pericles stripped of power. Not that it worked yet. Pericles is the past. He's more worried about losing a few precious statues than he is fighting and winning the war. Cleon will rule this city and return it to greatness. Mark my words. I'm looking for clues to help me find a woman. She was Spartan. Looking and finding are quite different things, wouldn't you say? I could observe a priest offering sacrifice to the gods, but does that mean in so doing that I have myself found God? Or... Oh, forget it. If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she isn't? To observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here. In my opinion, it's just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. This has been useless, Kiere. Ah. <laughs> 
Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Time for some fun. You'll have to help me get out of my clothes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the goat. There's another goat? Now it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Pietera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Amistios? Here? I suppose they've sent you to mock me for my fight with every Pidis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that will help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So, 
We get him drunk, and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Every Pidis is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every Pidis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Pides, lover of Asclepios, father of Theot, and so on. I'm sure to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every Pides. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pides and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. You! You shouldn't be in here. What do you want? I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. How's every Pidis? Drunk, I hope. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might ever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. To the Onisos. This... This is delicious! This is nectar of the gods. Another round! I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? How about some more? Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' finest. You know what they say, good wine makes good friends. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Ready for another? This is the best symposium I've been to in a while. You know what? 
I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pivis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. <laughs> How's every this? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every this won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, Tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Got here. You can't leave already. Yeah. 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 Yeah.